say something. May we never get bored with each other. I'm Reese Coiro, and I'm playing the role of Chiago. I want you to come with me. Those parties are all the same. This one might be fun. Doubt it. He's definitely not a player. I think that's important that, you know, that's not what the story's about. In fact, I think if the scene plays correctly, it probably should be like the opposite of that is that he's trying to be trying to be honest, you know, not play games. We weren't dating, we were, we were, we were, we were friends. <laughs> uh-huh. I mean, you know, she's a beautiful woman. Vivacious lass. Uh, what's not to like? What? She wants to get back together with you, duh. Shilashikachina, stop it. Rick Pagano, our casting director, um, had suggested Reese Coiro to play Tiago because we had originally been thinking of Portuguese and Brazilian actors. I was familiar with Reese's work, but I didn't know if he could pull off the foreign thing, um, even though that's supposed to be kind of subtle and in, in the background. Um, but Rick said that Reese was like a, a modern day Marcel Marceau, um, and I was really impressed with how he was very dedicated to. He actually even wanted to go even further with the. Brazilian accent and, and foreignness, but I, I kind of wanted it to just be uh, an afterthought. Say, maluca, que porra. What did you say? I said, que porra. I don't know what that means, but um, it doesn't sound good. It's cool working with, a, with an actor. I mean, it's her first, I believe it's her first job directing. And uh, it's nice to, to work with an actor. Uh, you know, they, there's a different perspective on how things go. And uh, the whole process is nice because, you know, it's a short film and it's a short piece and uh, we get the sort of unusual opportunity to take a great amount of time with each scene, each moment, so. It's nice, it's very indulgent, you know? What are you doing? Okay, we'll say stop fazendo, Paloma. it's okay, I got it. What are you doing? I got it. I got it. What are you doing? Why are you acting crazy, Paloma? It's like a kind of a theme running throughout the, the story. It's about romantic love. Is it possible to have romantic love and, and you know, monogamous relationships? acknowledge sexual attractions to other parties. It's basically talked about in most every scene, really. It's just, can we can we accept that as a, as a truth, or how do we reconcile that? How's Matthew? Yeah, my name is Garrett Dillahunt. I play Matthew in Paloma. I need to borrow you for some advice on some seating arrangements. I'm gonna I'll smoke a cigarette. What? He doesn't smoke. Now, Matthew uh, runs an art gallery here. He doesn't seem to be much of an art aficionado, but uh, he runs a gallery. Uh, he has good help in Paloma, who's real smart and real with it and with the times. And uh, he really likes her. He likes her a lot. She's a breath of fresh air, I think, for him, and, uh, you know, reminds him of, I don't know, maybe some passion that he's lost, and, you know, she has good ideas, and she makes him feel good, makes him laugh. Do you have a guy in your life? We just moved in together. I was getting sick of the whole underwear and the purse thing. <laughs> I wasn't familiar with Grace. Uh, I mean, I hadn't met her before, Grace Gummer. Um, she's lovely. She's really, uh, she seems baggageless and, you know, she's got a good sense of humor between the takes, you know, which is great. Uh, yeah, it's been easy. If they cast it well. 
Have you ever actually looked at this painting? It's pretty remarkable. They'd be so lucky. You're good. I'm keeping you. And cut. Cut. I'd never met Julia, um, but I've always been a fan. And uh, I've always wanted to work with her in some capacity. We were supposed to do a movie together last year that kind of fell apart. And, um, I don't know how she felt, but I, I was determined to work with her again in some way. And, uh, and then this came about. Julia is really smart. You know, she's really... Uh, uh, she's a deep thinker, you know, the script she wrote. I like because it's not, uh, everything's not on the surface, there's a lot of subtext going on and that, uh, that requires us to be on our game and I appreciate that. I was on board, I didn't even know what it was for. She just said she'd written this thing and she wanted to do it and would I be a part? And I was like, absolutely. You know, I'm confident in Julia and that she will, you know, she's exacting. She likes, you know, to try a lot of different things and I like that too. And, I'm sure she'll get what she wants. So I was, I was easy. I was an easy get. I didn't even play hard to get at all.